Thunder was rescued by Salt Haven staff in late July. The 15-year-old female was suffering a fractured wing, likely caused by a territorial battle with another falcon. She was in great shape. So we thought it's worth putting the time and effort and resources into a bird like this to help her get back to her home. The head of Salt Haven says while Thunder had a fighting spirit, she had two things going against her, her senior age and the placement of her fracture. Staff made the difficult choice to end her suffering on Sunday morning. A number of x-rays and back and forth to the Ontario Veterinarian College, uh, it was determined that the fracture just was not healing became evident that she probably would never fly again. Thunder and her mate Dundas played an integral part in restoring the peregrine species right here in London. It's a species that's often at risk due to pesticide poisoning. While the pair hatched several baby falcons over the years, Thunder was becoming too old to continue the cycle. There were no eggs that were laid. Any eggs that were laid didn't hatch. With Thunder out of circulation now, it leaves it open to her old mate taking another mate and maybe starting that cycle again. So maybe in the next year or two, we'll see more baby peregrine falcons up on that TD nest. The feathery friend is being remembered as a regal falcon who was a beloved addition to the London skyline. She'll be remembered for sure as being a real pioneer here in London and reestablishing that uh, peregrine falcon population here. Jordan Reed, CTV News.